Well, back home, and since mid-2007, borrowing costs have gone up 100 basis points for business and 90 for households, and there's likely to be another interest rate rise in May, despite what they say. RBA Board Secretary Tony Froth joins me from Sydney. Tony Froth, what is the Reserve Bank and why is it putting interest rates up? Well, Sean, the Reserve Bank is a very special kind of bank which looks after monetary policy in this country. We put up the interest rate to discourage people from spending. Less spending, less demand. Less demand, prices fall. Prices fall, inflation reduces. Yes, but, uh, but a higher interest rate means things you have to borrow money for, like houses, end up actually being more expensive. Well, yes, you spend more on houses and less on day-to-day -day things like food. Less food purchases, oversupply. Oversupply, cheaper prices. Cheaper prices, less inflation. Yeah, but won't people buy more things if they're cheaper? Well, not if you have less money. Yes, but doesn't that put me in the same position? Either I have more money to buy expensive things or less money to buy the same things when they're cheaper. Well, exactly. It's about putting things on an even keel. Yes, but getting there is what's difficult, isn't it? Well, it's pretty straightforward. Yes, but if I, I suddenly have to spend 40% of my income on my mortgage instead of 20%... Well, well less money to spend, less demand. Less demand, prices drop. But that assumes I have a choice. If I've only got 60% of my income to spend, but have the same amount to buy as when I had 80% to feed my family or clothe them or educate them, then... Well, you can't. You have less money to spend. Less spending, supply outstrips demand. Supply per unit drops in price. Things have to become affordable or they won't sell. That's the beauty of a free market. Ah, but it's not a free market, is it? You're interfering with it. Well, you have to, otherwise you end up with a depression. Awful business. People leaping out of windows, that sort of thing. People drop, fewer people, less demand, prices drop. Very true. Thank you, Tony. Uh, sorry, is Tony Froth still on hold? Can we bring him up? Tony Froth, hi. Uh, something occurred to me during the break. If interest rates rise, they don't just rise for consumers, do they? They also rise for business. I think the business lending rate's now about 17%. Well, it's 17.2, actually. OK. Uh, well, doesn't that mean they've got less money to spend, will produce less, which lowers supply? Lowers supply, same demand, prices rise. Lower production, less work. Less work, higher unemployment. Higher unemployment, less spending, lower prices. We certainly thought this through. Thanks, Tony. Pleasure. <laughs> Can't. Yep. Is Tony Froth still there? Because I just want to ask him a question. Tony, sorry to bother you again, but I was wondering, is it possible to open an account at the Reserve Bank and borrow money? It's just that your interest rate is still a lot lower than the regular banks. Uh, no, we don't do that sort of thing. Ah. We just do the paperwork on the issuing of banknotes, so we get to say what they're worth. That's pretty much it. Right, right. How do you work that out? I it's all, I suppose, relative to the gold reserves, isn't it? <laughs> no. <laughs> We've sold the bulk of our gold reserves. Look, it's all based on the value of our reserves of foreign currency. Ah, okay. No-one uses gold these days, Sean. My God, where have you been? <laughs> Although, if no one uses gold and everyone's using everyone else's currency to value their money, then surely it's ultimately not worth anything. Tony Froth, many thanks. <laughs>